Hi, I'm Tiffany Domina. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my website is howtoentrepreneur.org and my mission is to help you grow a business from idea to enterprise. So if you or someone you know wants to start or grow a business, definitely stop by howtoentrepreneur.org and check out my free e-course. It's the framework to help you grow your business from the very beginning when you get the idea all the way up until the enterprise. So today I want to answer the question what is the minimum viable funnel and is it worth your time to make one so if you've ever asked what is a minimum viable funnel then this video will be for you here you will learn what it is and how it can benefit your business so I have to be honest and say that most entrepreneurs have optimism syndrome when we come up with our big ideas, we think they're the best and we're sure they'll work until we act on our optimism too many times and learn the hard way that it's not the way to go. So if you are looking for a way that you can decide once you get your big idea how, whether or not it's going to sell, then the minimum viable funnel is your answer. You don't have to spend a lot of time, a lot of money on a prototype or on a website or pretty much anything at all so you're probably wondering how is it so and so let me explain how the minimum viable funnel works so where did the minimum viable funnel come from in their books the lean startup and the $100 startup Eric Rise and Chris Gilbo both discussed the concept of building an inexpensive minimum version of the full product then testing to see if you get buyers and if you get buyers good for you scale up if you don't get buyers tweak and retry on the market it can save you tons of cash to attempt the minimum viable funnel method rather than buying everything necessary to create the full-blown product or service spending lots of advertising dollars and finding out that the idea is a flop so instead, why not test it out and let the market give you feedback? So I've also seen investors or other people call this the proof of concept. So you can use this same thing as the proof of concept. So the benefits of the minimum viable funnel are that regardless of how big or small the company is, there's always room to grow and using money wisely can enable that. But especially if you're on a tight budget or schedule, you don't want to throw money or time away. So the minimum viable funnel makes sure that number one, you get feedback from the market before you invest. A good idea is not really a good idea unless it's in demand. So a creative or as creative or exciting as an idea may be, if people don't want to buy it, it won't make you money and it turns into a business flop. So before you invest lots of time or money into an idea, it's best to have the feedback from the market regarding whether they like the idea or not. So number two, you want to make sure that people will buy before you invest. If they really like the idea, then they'll buy. If they say, wow, that's a great idea for someone else to spend money on, then it's not really good enough. <laughs> You need proof of concept by way of sales. When you have purchase orders before your product is created, you have one money for product for production and two, you have proof your concept solves a problem in the market. So number three, you potentially have money to invest in scaling. So with enough sales, you can get help with production, you can provide better quality, you can market and advertise more so you can get more leads. With the minimum viable funnel, you're keeping your startup costs extremely low until your concept is proven. As a result, you'll save lots of money from flops and you're able to allocate money to scaling the business. So in number four, you don't wait long periods of time to find out what works. Depending on what your idea is, it could take months or even years to make a prototype. If you create a minimum version of the idea, it could cut down the production time drastically and enable you to get feedback much quicker. So what does a minimum viable funnel consist of? The recipe for a minimum viable funnel will vary from business to business, but in general, 
the minimum viable funnel will consist of number one a minimum lead generation system the minimum lead generation system could be as simple as testing the idea with five dollar facebook ads or search engine ads sending traffic to a wordpress landing page for sign up or purchase you want to see how many people will respond to your ads and the copy on your landing page and does the data prove there's a demand for the idea in the market then you also want to see are people willing to buy so this is a former iteration of a landing page that I had here on how to entrepreneur and so you could kind of see what you would be sending your traffic to is something that can either capture an email or something that um, can convert the traffic from cold traffic into warm traffic whether that's on your email list or whether that is a shopping cart of some type um, but you want some pr the process um, to be on your website so number two a minimum lead conversion system so if you're an online business you might feel comfortable having a full lead generation and conversion experience on your website an example of a page that serves the dual purpose is this page from Amazon so this is the lean startup page the book that I was referencing earlier so as you can see this page um, you can actually drive traffic to this you can drive the leads to this it, pro it has the keywords inside of the page so people can actually come to the page from search engine optimization they may also have ads that go directly to this page there's all to diff all different types of ways to use um, Amazon as a platform to drive leads to products on the platform but in addition to this being a lead generation system this could also be a lead conversion system because they have the area where you can add it to your car or you can buy it now and you can completely take advantage of the full purchasing cycle right there on the page so almost every page on Amazon serves a dual purpose others might have sign up for a quote or tra and transfer the leads to an offline setting but regardless of which way you choose to convert the leads into buyers you want to have this set up in your minimum viable funnel it could be search or social media traffic to a sales page to a checkout page or it could be search or social media traffic to a lead generation page to a sales call or conversion personnel call it can be set up different ways for example let's say your idea is a woman's dress design you can create a mock-up on Photoshop or have someone help you with that. Create a landing page on your website using an e-commerce plugin like WooCommerce or using a landing page plugin like Thrive Architect. Then you set up ads to drive traffic and see whether or not you acquire buyers. The market will speak. Each industry is going to have a relatively different standard and different customer expectations and you'll want to translate that into your minimum viable funnel. For me, I use um, or I previously used Thrive Themes for landing pages and sometimes I still do on some, some of the websites that I manage. And so sometimes you can include, uh, include the sales pages as well and I choose my advertising based on my campaign goals so you can always get digital marketing training and I give you the details about that um, and I've given details about different options for learning digital marketing and things like that and you can even get started for free so <clears throat> like I said my number one recommended um, internet marketing training you can get started for free so if you go to how to entrepreneur.org slash wealthy affiliate again how to entrepreneur.org slash wealthy affiliate then you can get started there for free and I'll roll up my sleeves with you and help you build your minimum viable funnel but um, so in addition to your lead generation minimum lead generation funnel and your minimum lead conversion funnel you also want to set up your client fulfillment system 
So you'll want to have a way that you will deliver the expected goods or services to the customer. In the beginning, you may provide stream, a streamlined product, and as the proof of concept becomes clear, you can add more quality. But the idea of the minimum viable funnel is to start up with a minimum version. So some people even forecast a launch date or forecast um, a delivery date. So maybe they'll have um, the sales page and everything set up and they'll send out some emails saying they're going to launch this product and explain it and uh, try to see if there's a demand. And then if people buy in, then they'll actually create the product. So there's all different types of ways that people handle the client fulfillment system but you still have to have something there to make sure that whatever it is that you sell you actually follow through and deliver and then um, number four what about the other components so in, a, in other posts I tell you about the seven business systems um, so I'm still a proponent of all seven business systems but the minimum viable a uh, minimum viable funnel is simply a product service test to see if you can scale your concept into a business or product line so the other business systems such as the branding system the management system the leadership system and the job prototypes can be worked on more after the concept is proven so the goal of this video was to show what is the minimum viable funnel and this concept can really save you loads of money and time in your business if it's used properly. So if you have questions or concerns about this, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to help you out. And if you want more tips on how to set up your minimum viable funnel, check out my free e-course here at How to Entrepreneur. It's a framework to grow a business from idea to enterprise. Plus, there's my invitation to get help setting up your minimum viable funnel there. So check out the free e-course and see what I mean. Now, I want to hear from you. Have you invested too much money in an idea that flopped? What was your experience? What are your thoughts on minimum viable funnels? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like it where I do product reviews, service reviews, buyer's guides, and growth strategies to help you grow from idea to enterprise, then subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon so you can get notified of upcoming videos. So that's all I have for this video, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.